Hey, what's up guys? It's Farney here from Bluebird, um, and I excited, I'm excited to join you guys for the Best of Bluebird subscription video for the month of November 2024. Um, in this month's uh, Best of Bluebird subscription box, we have an amazing geisha from our partner farm in Costa Rica, um, produced by our friend Alejo Castro over at Vulcan Azul. Um, it is a phenomenal, phenomenal coffee. Um, the coffee is a red honey geisha, and it is processed anaerobic, warm anaerobic, yeah, that's the one. So essentially the coffee gets deep pulped um, and the, the coffee husks or the holes of the fruits are removed, leaving behind the mucilage in the coffee. And that is then fermented in PPE bags in a uh, warm environment, kind of in a controlled temperature environment, creating the warm anaerobic fermentation. After which the coffee is then dried in automatic dryers using automatic dryers and um, raised drying beds. Uh, so we have been working with Vulcan Azul for a very, very long time here at Bluebird. Um, the Vulcan Azul Geisha release um, from a few years ago was the first Geisha that we bought. Um, so our relationship with Alejo and the team over at Vulcan Azul is um, one that we've been fostering for many years um, and it's yielded absolutely amazing fruits. Um, we're fortunate to work with them for a whole lot of our coffee that we bring in every year. Um, and um, Daria and Alejo work together on the Next Gen project, uh, which is our annual release celebrating uh, both Daria's kids, Alejo's kids, and the future generations. Um, so with regards to this geisha, um, it is an absolutely awesome coffee. Uh, it's actually my favorite geisha from Vulcan Azul for this year. Um, contrary to the earlier geisha release, um, it is a bit cleaner, it is a bit more fresh fruit forward, and it is absolutely incredibly sweet. Um, the coffee tends to more be to lie more towards a tropical flavor profile. So I tend to pick up a lot of mango, clementine, like macerated clementine, macerated mango, kind of like very sticky, a little bit of fermentation going on, a little bit of funk, but still super fresh fruit um, forward characteristics in this coffee. Um, another highlighter of this amazing coffee is the incredible texture. Um, very juicy, like I said, sticky, juicy texture, um, along with those beautiful fresh fruit flavor notes. Um, this coffee tends to brew quite quickly. Again, brewing, uh, being an anaerobic red honey coffee, um, these high intervention, high fermentation coffees tend to have a slightly quicker brew time. Although being a geisha from Vulcan Azul, you can expect the coffee to be quite dense. Um, I brew on about 26 clicks on the Comandante for this coffee. Um, and we brew, we grind around 16 um, or 15 and a half on our EK43 for filter coffee. Um, when brewing this coffee, I tend to favor slightly faster extraction times. Again, highlighting the fresh fruit characteristic uh, and, it, and like highlighting the clarity of flavor in this coffee, allowing you to experience the full nuance of this awesome varietal and awesome processing. Uh, but there are many versions of this coffee that you can drink yourself to, like a nice concentrated fast brew um, with like a high sweetness, high texture, um, super like punchy coffee. Um, is a fantastic way to brew this coffee. As I said, my favorite though, the same method I'm using here. 15 grams of coffee in the, in the brewer, three equal pours, 45 seconds apart of 80 grams each. So 15 to 240, and you're looking for a total brew time of right around two and a half minutes to 245. Absolutely incredible. As I said, um, lots and lots of sticky mango, nectarine, clementine, beautiful, beautiful tropical fruit flavor characteristics, um, beautiful, beautiful texture in this geisha. Um, yeah, it's an absolutely awesome coffee and um, we really look forward to sharing it with you guys.